Okay, right now I'm gonna start cutting the tops off of these IBC totes, washing them and drilling the holes that I can. So I'll be doing that for these five right here. And then when that's done, I'll move them into my greenhouse, which is over there. So you can see I first drew out what I'll be cutting. So I'm leaving this spot here because this will be in the back. And by having this here, it will prevent the fish from jumping out if they do so. And if they do jump out, they'll jump out in the front. And then I can find them if I can catch it in time before they die. If not, I can get it before they die, before they get to start to stink in the back. So that's what I'll be doing on each of these ones cutting the front part out so I'm gonna try to round the corners a little Let's see the focus there like so but that's what I'll be doing so I'm gonna be using a knife it will take longer but this will prevent pieces of plastic from flying everywhere so I think it's a little worth it even though it'll take quite a bit longer but that's how I'll do it Well, I just cut the first one off. Sorry, the camera died when I was recording, didn't notice. But you can see the inside. It's got a bunch of olive oil in there. So I used a knife to do it. it takes time. I got them all drawn out now where I need to cut. So now what I'll do is cut them just like the first one with the knife I have. So that's how that is. To make this curve, I use the cap of the IBC tote. And to make the curve that I have over here, I use the drain cap that goes at the bottom from one of these. Finally cut this second one. It took me half an hour just to cut this one. I think I'm gonna use the power tools for the other three. So I have this one cut. Also dirty, I had to figure out how I'm gonna deal with that because I can't have that running all over my floor. Or the concrete over here. So I still gotta cut this one, this one, and that one. So there's five IBC totes that I'm gonna be putting in my aquaponic system. I did get seven, but I'm gonna put five in them. And last night you saw, or last night, I cut the two of them with a knife because I didn't wanna get plastic bits flying everywhere. That took a long time. So what I'm gonna do now to make it easier is use a drill to drill a hole and then use this jigsaw to cut the top off. So this is a much easier way if you have this, if you're just cutting one, and you don't have one of those, then the knife method does work, but I'll show you how I cut the other three with that. I first drilled the holes so I can stick the blade. There you have it, I just finished cutting all of the five IBC totes. So I had to use the jigsaw, a knife, and hand saw, and a drill. But you can see they are dirty inside. Luckily, three of them 
are lightweight dirty or don't have much in there you can say but there's like this one which has got a bunch of gunk in there as well as the one over there so I got all five cut I'll drill the holes as well and then rinse them out start moving them into the aquaponic system now that I have these cut what I'm gonna do is shave the little pieces of plastic off using a knife as well as a file that is because I used the electrical saw to cut these ones the other ones I didn't have to do that Thank you for watching. In that video, I just showed you how I cut these five different IBC totes to prepare them for my aquaponic system. So these are going to be used as fish tanks. That is why it's just this part cut off and instead of cutting, cutting it like that and make it a grow bed, you can say. And I left the back part on there because in my greenhouse, that will be in the back area. And all I need to see is really from up here. So I don't want fish jumping out in the back. I think I mentioned that earlier. But you can see those are done. Yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And thank you for watching.